Ciao Michi, hello, bonjour à tous, welcome back on my channel and welcome in my kitchen as well because I think it's the first time that I film in my kitchen. So today, as you can see, I got you covered for the holidays. I have five different drinks here that I made from different liquors, different alcohol. I have some cream base, I have some coffee base, I have vodka, so it's pretty much for everyone's taste. And as you can see, they're really meant, so it's not just regular drinks, it's really meant for the holidays. That's why I have my Christmas spirit here. So I have my Santa Claus here, and this video was requested by Road King Supreme, so I got you covered. And and also let me know which one is your favorite drinks between those five holiday cocktails. Some of them, it might be too strong, not strong enough. It might be too sweet, not sweet enough. So you can definitely modify it to your taste. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And also if you had to modify it. And also what are you doing for the holiday? Is this something only like a couple holiday or you have your family or you're all by yourself and you're gonna drink all the drinks and the cocktail so let me know in the comments down below now enough blah 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 let's jump into the content of the video The first drink that I'm gonna do, it has the cutest name, it's called the Santa Clausmopolitan. So it's pretty much a cosmopolitan, but for the holiday spirit. So you need five different ingredients, you need one shot of vodka, you need um, one shot and a half of cranberry juice, if you don't like cranberry juice you can definitely go with orange juice, you need one shot and a quarter of triple sec, which I don't have, but you can use Patron, this is what I'm gonna use, or if you feel fancy enough uh, uh, Grand Marnier you need a little bit of lime just to uh, lime juice I'm gonna put lemon juice just for a refreshment and I'm going to put cranberry in the drinks and I'm also going to show you a little tips to make your drink a little bit more holiday ish and fancier <laughs> So you will see that some of my drinks kind of put a decoration on top as you can see. Basically, it's really easy to make. So it's, it's sprinkles that I bought. So I, I bought the red one and I pretty much pour sugar in it. So as you can see here, it's kind of a mix. So I'm gonna put lemon on the glass and I'm gonna put my glass on top. So it's really Christmassy. You can buy uh, red and green sparkles if you don't like the red and white. You can add gold one to your preference. So this is only to add a little spinch of holiday. So the second drink that I'm gonna show you is a drink typical holidays and when I'm gonna explain you what it is, you will definitely know what I'm talking about. So it's not the holidays if we're not talking about eggnog. So you will find this only during Christmas. I'm not sure you can find it all year round, but I can be wrong. So with this drink, it's gonna be called a espresso eggnog martini. So it's basically a martini, but for the holidays. <laughs> you will need uh, four different ingredients. You will need three shots of vodka. If it's too strong for you, I'll recommend two shots instead of three. You need one shot of Kahlua. I have barista, which is a coffee-based drink. You can add Baileys if you'd like. One shot of egg because that's the pretty much the diva of the drink and to finish up uh, one espresso so it's gonna give a little boost for the holiday so you'll have the energy and it's gonna taste great third drink that I'm going to show you I think it's one of my favorite because I love coconut so it has a little bit of coconut it's a cream based drink with a little bit sweetness uh, to it so it's called a white christmas margarita so you need four different ingredients so for sure you have coconut coconut milk then don't forget the ice to make sure that it's cool you need lime juice as well you need one shot of tequila and one shot of triple sec once everything is there you need to pour it to blend it a bit so it's kind of a pina colada and then 
then um, you mix it in the blender and then you can add ice if you'd like. I will pull it in a big giant drink and of course I will put whipped cream on top so that it's festive and I will finish with a candy cane so it looks great for the holidays and for Christmas. So if you find it's a little bit too, um, too strong, instead of adding one of tequila and one of triple sec, you can definitely add half and half or add uh, coconut milk if you'd like to, uh, but that's pretty much it. The other drink is called the White Russian. It has only three ingredients and it's really easy to make. So you start your glass with some ice and then you add about two ounces of Kahlua, which is a coffee base. You can add Amarula if you like the taste of the cream, like a cream liquor instead. You And then you add two ounces of vodka and you finish with two ounces of heavy cream. I put the 35% heavy cream, so it's really rich and really comforty drink. But if you want, you can put a coffee cream if you find it's a little bit too heavy. So three, three ingredients, but I assure you, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this drinks for the holidays. So to finish off my video, this is a drink that I, my dad used to love and he makes us all the time. So there's no name to it, but it's kind of a digestive. So it's only two ingredients and only two alcohol. So it's about one ounce of coffee based liquor. I use the barista and about one ounce of Patron. So after you ate all the cannellonis, the lasagna, the gnocchi, the desserts, you're full. You take one shot of this and then you're ready for round two. So this is the end of my video guys. It's the first time I'm doing something like this. I really hope that you enjoyed it. For sure, it won't be perfect, but for the time being, it, it is what it is. I really hope that those drink inspire you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to share and like and leave which one is your favorite one in the comments down below. So I, I hope that I inspired you for the holidays. So you have about 10 days to inspire yourself, not even a week to inspire yourself to make those, uh, to make those drinks. Again, this is kind of the idea. If you find it's too strong, not strong enough, too sweet, not sweet, you can definitely either add juice or remove a bit of alcohol and you make it to your taste. So I really hope that you enjoy it. Take care of your family. Happy holidays and I will see you next year. Bye guys. Good. Let's junk and let's jump. Let's drunk again. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying too much. Okay.